Hello guys, it's Carson here, and today I've got another Hot Wheels video, but this time, uh, this is a, this is like a portion of my collection to showcase. This is actually the part that's kind of hidden from the original video that, um, I wanted to keep until I wanted to show you guys. Um, and this is errors. Um, I have come across an error yesterday of the Motosaurus, the front wheels were missing, but I left it behind. And, uh, but I have been error prone, basically, um, and, you know, errors are fun to collect, and, um, it's, you know, it's, it's very hard to describe what it's like finding an error, you, you know, if it's like the first time trying to find a car that you're trying to get, um, it can be very stressful, it can be <laughs> a waste of money, but, um, I did have one error that I did return, which was a flash drive that had a hole in it, um, but now, I want to show you guys the errors that I have right now, so let's check them out. I'm going to go over my loose errors first, I have three of them. Uh, this is Kit, Kit Knight Rider, and what's wrong with it is this wheel is dragging up against the fender because the plastic is kind of meh, uh, the plastic supports are kind of strange, but that's Kit. Now this one's very hard to see, but it's the Toys R Us exclusive trio uh, member of, uh, this is the, uh, it's the 81 Camaro, I'm not good with real cars, but this is the 81 Camaro. And as you can see right here, it's got a piece of metal that hasn't been molded all the way, and it's pushing the wheel back. And as you can see, I can barely move the wheel. Here's what it's like on the other side. That's what it's supposed to be, but now, um, pretty much a dollar, well, pretty much two dollars, because I got them, like, uh, six dollars, and they were the all three of them. Uh, so pretty much uh, two dollars. Uh, down the drain, so now I have to go find another one. And my next one is Pile Driver, and it's a new one. It's the new one. Here it is. It doesn't look like anything is uh, wrong with it at first, but then uh, when you look at the roll cage, I have another one from a five pack. As you can see, it doesn't have the two bars up in front uh, on the sides, so that means the cage was put on backwards. Which was which I didn't even notice that, and then I eventually got another one. But yeah, that's the error of pile driver. And let me put my other one away real quick. And my cloud cutter just fell. The cloud cutter, the casting, not, not, you know what I mean. Um, here are my box errors, and this one I did. This one I got just recently. It is Rally Cat. And what you may and now there's a glare from the light, but right here, the wheel is not painted all the way. It's partially painted. It's gray. The wheels are supposed to be gray. And basically, they didn't paint it all the way, and they smeared it onto the tire. So that's Rally Cat. 2016 Twin Duction. This one's very obvious because right here, you can see that the wheel is dislodged. Uh, that is from a bent axle. Next up, this is actually a, a car that someone gave me. It is Time a Taxi, and the door is uh, not is like semi developed. It's not fully developed all the way. So as you can see it's partially it's like deformed. Uh, basically, Time a Taxi has a uh, door piece that opens up. Next up, this one's really hard to see, but it's the uh, Volkswagen Caddy. And right here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a piece of tissue right there, which is very gross. This is probably one of the grossest errors I've ever gotten. It's not metal. That is a piece of tissue paper or cardboard. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I have no idea what it is. But yeah, that's a piece of something that's stuck in the car from it when it was being processed. Um, this one's a minor error. It's the Diora. And as you can see, the surfboard is loose. Let me see if I can get it to move. But yeah, this, one of the surfboards is out. I don't know if it was like this. Uh, I don't know if, it, if the surfboard was in there uh, before, um, like before it got taken out or whatever. This next one, this one's kind of obvious, but it's the Honda Racer. And one of its wheels is missing. This is one of the front wheels that was missing, and you can see the axle. So now we got a... This is probably my first and probably only ever three-wheeled car. 
I could have gotten that Motosaurus, but I didn't have time to get it. Now, here's another minor error. It's the winning formula. It is packaged upside down. Here's another one. This one's kind of hard to notice, but it's the Speed Box from the Night Storm series. And if you look at the back wheel, one of the holes is painted, which it isn't supposed to be that. It's the five-spoke wheel. I have the original one with me. Um... Actually, I don't have time to get it right now. I don't want to make the video too long. But, yeah. Here is Epic Fast. And just like Rally Cat, its wheel got partially painted. So now it didn't get painted all the way. Uh, here is another one. It's another, it's another bent axle. It's Terrain Storm. And right there, the back wheel is completely messed up. Um, it's completely dislodged, it's completely out of place, so I decided to keep it in the box, just to stop, just to, just to keep it in the box. I'm not going to take it out, because the axle might end up bent anyways. Uh, next one is Vendetta, it's got a missing piece, and I'll let you try to guess what the missing piece is. You can pause the video if you want to. Well, it's kind of obvious now, because Vendetta is missing its window, it's missing its window piece, uh, that would go in the car. So now, during the assembly line, I guess someone might have forgotten the window piece, which is a clear plastic piece that the, that is supposed to go underneath the window piece where the holes are in the car. And this isn't the first time I've seen one. Uh, here we got another upside-down car, the Formula Flashback. Um, I don't know if it was uh, just like the Dior. I don't know if it was. Uh, I don't know if it was like the. I don't know if it was like this in the package or if it was. Uh, or if it was, uh, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to wrap my mind around this right now, but, um, but yeah, that's the formula flashback in upside down form. This one's also hard to notice because it's chrome, but this is the Blitz Speeder, and this one's just recently, and if you look at the box art, it's got a, a hood decoration on it, and if you look at the car itself, you can see that it's partially painted. As you can see, most of it is weathered away. So that's Blitzbeater. Here is Aristo Rat, and this one is missing its side tampo. But if I don't know if you can see it, but when I turn the car just like that, you can see that there's a tiny shade of yellow right there. So that tells me that there's a tampo right there. So yeah, someone was clumsy enough to forget about that. Um, I have a 17 Nissan GTR R35. And, again, the base is dislodged. Here's the base. You can see this, part's com this part right here is completely messed up. And you can see it's also got uneven wheels. So, that's the uh, 17 Nissan GTR R35. And last up, this is actually a treasure hunt. A super treasure hunt. It is the 67 Chevelle SS. And this actually applies to both of them. Uh, both of them have uh, small wheels in the back which they're supposed to have big wheels in the back. So, um, and I got this one for Christmas. This was from a collector uh, that I knew, uh, who I go to the, who I think goes to the conventions. I'm not really sure. Um, I don't know if he goes to the conventions now, but um, yeah, this is what he gave me for Christmas. So anyways, thank you very much. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Take care. Peace.